And thank you for joining us on this Wednesday, the 2nd of November. Tonight, an admission from a second State Department of something else that should not have happened in the case of improper sand mining and the discovery of old bone fragments in Mokulaia. KHON2 News broke the story yesterday of a private company being allowed valuable sand from Dillingham Airfield. The State Transportation Department admits it should not have happened. And the state's lease with the federal government forbids sand removal. Leslie Wilcox reports this time the admission of a lapse comes from the State Department responsible for historic preservation. Leslie? The Department of Land and Natural Resources. Joe, the problem was paperwork that fell through the cracks. It caused heartbreak for a Waialua family that did everything they could to put state officials on notice that its ancestors from the 1800s are buried there in unmarked graves. There's a small stand of coconut trees, Malka of the runway at Dillingham Airfield. It's about the only landmark still here from the time Thomas Shirai's Hawaiian ancestors owned the land. The big kupuna had a house in the back and there was a hill and had all these graves around, you know. That's, that's the way it was. Human bone fragments, including part of a leg, turned up after sand was dug up at the site of the old family burial ground. This is the home, and where that bone was was just maybe a few feet away. He's taken pains to amass records, going back to documents handwritten in Hawaiian and continuing into present day, informing officials about cultural sites at Dillingham. Back in 1997, Shirai and his family filed notice with state authorities that this was an ancestral settlement and an unmarked burial ground. The family closely described the location of the burials and provided names and death certificates for family members laid to rest in the area, known then as Kauai Hapai. Shirai says he updated the burial site registration form in the year 2000. We just don't have record of that. A newly hired state historic preservation archaeologist says the key paperwork wasn't kept on file. We're working to the means right now to try and correct some of the things that have happened in the past and, and to, you know, we are accountable for what happens and in this case we uh, are more than willing to work with Thomas Shirai and to uh, ensure that this type of thing doesn't happen again in that area. Shirai says also Form the airport division of his family burial ground. They are very aware of him, so he will not be denied access to your cultural site. Shirai feels additional hurt because he's a transportation department employee, and it pains him to wonder if more easily or bones will turn up in sand that left the airfield. An unsuspecting Kulei homeowner who got truckloads of the sand part of a human jawbone, homeowner Steve Tilbert. So that may be more for a while. Yeah. The bone fragments may not be from Shirai's ancestors. We'll never know. The state law and Hawaiian belief systems don't allow invasive testing. But the Department of Land and Natural Resources says as a recognized lineal descendant, he should have been notified of the excavation. Any word lesson on how all that sand was allowed to be hauled away from the airfield? Nope. State officials are still working on an answer that question, Joe. All right. Thanks.